Hello everybody, welcome to All Amazing Wrestling, episode number 61, time for titles pay-per-view, it's been a while, let's just get into it. The following match is a one-on-one -on -one match and it's for the AAW Media Championship. First out is... Carrion Cross and his opponent. We all wanna go big, then say that. Big E. Alrighty, everybody, welcome to AAW, and if you're not new here, welcome back. It's been a long while, but it's time for time for titles. Indeed it is. We've got a stacked card here, seven title matches. And we start off with the tournament finals for the AAW Media Championship. Big E versus Karrion Cross for the title. <coughs> On the outside, we have every single belt being defended, including the Media Championship in the order they are being defended. So the championships you see are the order that they're being defended in. DDT to Big E from Karrion Cross. Who do you think will win this, Steve? I don't know. They are Big E's a former. Oh, well, actually, he hasn't won a championship in this place, but he's won big gold in other companies. And if with that fact, Big E might be able to pull off a giant win here and become the first media champion. However, Karrion Cross has. A lot more. I don't know, dude. But I, you know, I think it's just safe to say Biggie's winning the title. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I don't think Biggie's going to lose to Karrion Cross. Although Karrion Cross did just debut a few episodes ago. Oh, German suplex. Bring him up top. What's he looking to do here? Oh, overhead belly to belly suplex from the top. Keep count. It's gonna take a lot more than that to keep down Biggie. Oh, geez, I don't even know what that was. Biggie landed on his head. Oh, not another DDT to Biggie. Oh, face first. Uh oh. Can cross now looking to do a snake eyes in the corner. And now a body splash from the top rope. Biggie kicks out. Oh a clothesline. No. Dodges underneath it. And he locks in the cross jacket. Will Biggie tap? Will we have a new champion right here? Will Cross be the first media champion? Oh, Biggie rolling out of it. Oh, no. He's got Cross up. Big ending. Ding, ding, ding. Here's your winner and the first AAW Media Champion. Big E. Big E's the first media champion. 
expect to see Big E defending this title a lot. In fact, this isn't a world championship. But <coughs> Big E still makes this for you. No doubt. The following match is a one on one match and is for the AAW Intercontinental Championship. First out is. The challenger, Brian Danielson. He is the AAW Intercontinental Champion, Sheamus. Alrighty, Steve. Intercontinental Championship match. And it is Sheamus versus the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Who do you think will win this match? I don't know. It's a pretty fair fight. Sheamus is the leader of the brawl and roots. He's a big man. But Danielson is also pretty fast and could be a little bit too quick for Sheamus to keep up with. That's the name, the American Dragon. I'm thinking maybe a running knee hit out of nowhere could put Samus away for the 1-2-3 and crown a new Intercontinental Champion. Indeed. However, Samus' bro kick, it's gonna hurt a lot getting a big boot into your face. Yep. Can't deny that either. I'd say it's a pretty fair fight between, between these two, but I'm really hoping Danielson wins. Yeah, me too. I'm kind of, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of tired of Sheamus' reign as Intercontinental Champion. I mean, he's been the first one to ever hold it. Yeah, so is Roman Reigns with the Celestial World Championship, which is the first title being, which is the main event, in case you don't know. Oh, that, that surely isn't legal. But I, well, I guess it's not just, I don't know if it's legal or not, but... Jimmy's is doing it, so. Pretty sure that's the thing. Yeah. Oh, elbow drop from the top. Oh. Bad position for Seamus. Been hit with the. <coughs> yes, kicks. Already. I'm telling him to get up. You know, oh, Claymore out of nowhere. No, Danielson kicks out. I just can't believe it. However, Danielson can. And now, comes from behind with a big roll-up pin. This could be it. No, Seamus kicks out. I didn't really see what that was. Anyway. Oh, drop kick to the back from the top rope. And now, Danielson. You can go up Seamus to the top. And now, oh, back suplex. And now what's happening here? Oh, moonsault off the top. No, oh, running knee. No, he kicks out. Now a body splash from the top. He's famous. Stomping all on Famous' face. Oh, but Famous gets up in a shoulder tackle. And now, go for a power bomb. Oh! That was a mean one. And now, he's got him up for a suplex. No. Danielson picks him up over. No. Famous gets out of that. And a cutter. Now a suplex. And an inverted DDT. 
and another DVD. Now a picture of Shin and another one. And now a backdrop. A back body drop, I mean. Shin is pounding the chest. Bro kick! Oh no, wait, drop kick. Oh, running knee! No! Shane just got the rope and it uh, broke it! I almost said Claymore. Here's your winner, and still, Intercontinental Champion, Sheamus! Sheamus has won the Intercontinental Championship. Well, he hasn't won it, he retained it. But Sheamus is still the Intercontinental Champion. Danielson put up a pretty good fight. Also, forgot to mention this. There's a new Intercontinental Championship design. I think it looks a lot better than the one we used to have. There's the Intercontinental Champion, folks. Reigning for... I don't even remember how long. Pretty sure it was since the Royal Rumble, and that was a while back. The following match is a mixed... Not mixed. An Extreme Rules Tag Team Match, and it is for the AAW Tag Team Championship! First team out is... Team of Sheamus and Drew McIntyre, the Brawling Brutes! And their opponents... They are the AAW Tag Team Champions, team of Seth Rollins and John Moxley, The Shield! Already tag team championship match. I don't know about you, Steve, but I'm ready for this one. You say that about like every match. Yes, but I mean, I'm not lying. I am ready to see who's gonna walk out the tag team champions. I mean, the Shield. All three of them did lose to the Brawling Brutes in the last episode in a six-man tag match. However, will history repeat itself? Because. Sheamus has already had a match. He went up against Daniel Bryan. No, Bryan Danielson just now. So he might they might win and retain by luck. And double booking. Yep. And it could be about time that we also get a new champion. It could be. Crowd singing Rollins of Steam. Oh, but Ro Drew McIntyre's not having it. No! Seth Rollins kicks out. That was... I was not expecting Claymore already. Oh. Now Rollins on the attack with a kick to the gut. Now picks him up for a suplex. No, Drew McIntyre gets him. Snake eyes into the corner. Now, oh, Rollins with a backflip. Lands on his feet. Now, roll up, pin to Drew McIntyre. No, Drew kicks out. Rollins up top. Sheamus not looking to get involved. Throws him off. Lands on his face. That's gonna hurt. Oh, a big punch to Seth's face. Moxa now. Back on the apron. Leaning in. Now... A big Falcon arrow from Drew McIntyre. Oh, Rollins up now. He goes up top. Superplex into the Falcon arrow. And Sheamus breaks it up. 
Oh, and Seth not shaking this out. Shame this went spinning 720, maybe even more than that. And a DDT. Oh, and now, please get him. The Future Shock DDT. Oh, he's pinning him. No! Rollins gets out. Now, looking for a Claymore, no! Oh, maybe going for the pedigree, I couldn't tell. But whatever it was, it didn't connect, and now Drew's got him up, no, Rollins lands on his feet. And now it puts him up for the electric chair, and the electric chair drop. Looks like maybe he's trying to pin, no, Drew gets out immediately. And now Samoan drop, maybe? Yeah! Tag is made to John Moxley. Moxley knocked down by Mo Moxley knocked down by Drew and Tag made the Sheamus. And now chops to the chest. That's gonna that's gonna make it red. Oh, and then big one. And now Rollins knocked out. With Top. Famous. Oh no. And now, looking to just beat Moxley's chest. Oh my God. This uh, it's gonna leave a giant red mark after this match. Yeah, and I don't even know what the count's at anymore. It's way past ten though. That's all I know. Yep. Oh, and another chop. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, this is an Extreme Rules Tag Team match, so anything is legal. Moxley, or the pin gets broken up by Drew McIntyre. Oh, McIntyre knocks out Moxley. And now... Oh! Just drops him on Rollins' back, and now crossbody from the top. Oh, and a chop turns him around, and now, big boot, he's pinning. No, Moxley kicks out. Bones back up, tag is made. And now, turn stop, no, big Claymore kick, not Claymore. A uh, bro kick, no, Rollins kicks out. For a second there, I thought we had new tag team champions. Big punch to Rollins. And now he's coming up for a power bomb. Oh, on the steps. Off the top, and now body splash. And now, oh no, Rollins tosses him over him. But here, and now tag is made to Mox. And a paradigm shift. And a curb stomp, both on the steel steps. Now tag is made. I don't think any. I don't think either realizes because Drew's not looking. Drew's checking to make sure Sheamus is okay. Oh, but Moxie from behind knocks him down. Paradigm shift on the steps. Oh my goodness. And now in comes Seamus. Oh, and a curb stomp. And now, curb stomp off the top rope. That's all she wrote. Here are your winners and still AAW Tag Team Champions. Seth Rollins and John Moxley, the Shield. They retained successfully. Two curb stomps, one from the, one from out of nowhere, and one from the very top rope. 
they retain their belt successfully. Yep, but it makes you wonder who's gonna beat them. There's only a select amount of teams left. I mean, they've gone through RK Bro, the the Brawling Roots just now, the Heart Foundation. Who's left? The following match is a one-on-one -on -one match and is for the AAW Universal Championship. First out is. The challenger, Bray Wyatt! And his opponent. He is the AAW Universal Champion, Ricochet! Alrighty, Steve. Time for the AAW Universal Championship match. Let's see, throwing out some punches. Oh, but Bray Wyatt catches him. Oh, no, not already. Sister Abigail. And now he's pinning. What? Here's your winner and the new AAW Universal Champion. Bray Wyatt! I, I don't know what to say. Ricochet lost the title he's held for months. Well, he didn't defend it for months. That is true. But I guess Bray Wyatt's now our universal champion. The following match is a one-on-one -on -one match and is for the AAW World Championship. First out is... The challenger, Jeff Hardy! He is the AAW World Champion, AJ Styles! Alrighty, World Championship match here. I'm excited to see whether or not AJ Styles will lose this championship. He's held this belt since the Royal Rumble, I believe. No, he held it since he came back from a long absence. He's, he beat Drew McIntyre for this belt. And Drew McIntyre is one of the strongest men on the card. Yeah, but you can't forget the fact that Roman Reigns had to come out and help him win that. See, since Roman Reigns still wasn't over Drew McIntyre beating him at Clash in the Ring, Whenever Drew McIntyre had a one-on-one -on -one, no holds barred match with Jeff with AJ Styles, because AJ Styles in the past won a um, eight-man battle royal, but never got his one-on-one -on -one title shot. He called out Drew McIntyre and asked if it could be, and told him it was going to be a no holds barred match. And so then the match came, and Hunter had the match won. He was about to claim more AJ, but then a and then a mad Roman Reigns came in and speared Drew McIntyre, and it became, and it was on the chair, so Drew's already in a ton of pain. And then he hit a Styles Clash, 
took me to Styles Clash on the chair to Drew McIntyre, and it was one, two, three. That's how Styles became the champion, and he's had absolute bangers with people like Edge, and that's all I can remember, but I'm sure this match will also be a banger. Yeah, I'll have to go back past episodes and see who he's defended against. I'm pretty sure he's also defended it against Bobby Fish. But that was that was just like a 10 second match. As Bobby Fish normally has. I don't know why. Bobby Fish is pretty good. But I guess he's just not good enough for the other people that we put him up against in this show. I got he's put up against in this show. However, I don't I don't doubt the man. One day he could become a world champion. Oh jeez, that's gonna hurt AJ's back. Especially the fact that he's in his 40s. Yeah, no, that's not gonna be a good one. Oh, Styles, now. With Styles Clash, no. He's in the corner. Twist of fate! No! Styles kicks out. Now, I don't know what that was. I didn't see it. Oh, and a leg drop from the top rope on the Jeff Hardy back of the neck. And now, oh, suplex, no. Jeff Hardy gets AJ with the suplex. And now, off the ropes, no. Oh, Pele kick from Jeff Hardy. Never thought I'd see that. Oh, goes to... Punch, no. Just put down with your noggin now. I don't know what that was. I, I couldn't really tell. Oh, and a big forearm to Jeff Hardy knocks him down. Styles now. Looking for a phenomenal forearm. No. Just got with a twisted fate. No. Oh, and a big boot. And now, a body splash. Oh, but Jeff Hardy... I'm looking for another Yurinagi, no, it gets him out of that. And now it goes a punch. And a back body drop, no, big DDT. Now, uh, Styles, no, Jeff Hardy with a, I don't even know, like an inverted Alabama slam. And now, uh-oh, now another one. the top another styles clash no how in the world did hardy kick out the king of extreme is not gonna go down without a fight that's not even a nickname he had i know i just gave him that oh and now puts the fade out the top oh my god What's, what's Jeff Hardy looking to do here? Oh my god! Caught with a style splash! Move with the swan time bomb! We got caught with a style splash! No! He gets out of it! And a twist of fate! Another one! For the books! And a new champion! Here's your winner and the new... AAW World Champion, Jeff Hardy! Hardy has defeated AJ Styles for the World Championship. I'm, I'm excited. I, I can't believe it. it's over. The longest, nothing, it might be. But Styles is finally Styles' range of tire is gone. I believe the longest reigning champion was Drew McIntyre because of that long time period we weren't doing anything. However, if we're not going to count that, I do believe Styles is the longest reigning champion. And he just lost to arguably the greatest of all time, Jeff Hardy.